Welcome to the trail from Route 522 near Front Royal down to Elk Wallow Wayside in Shenandoah National Park heading southbound. It begins by crossing a little creek and it's really quite nice. Um, one of the key themes that I kept thinking of, maybe I think of it regularly, but what I thought of this time was peace. Of course, one of the great songs that I enjoy playing on the piano is Wonderful Peace. Peace, peace, wonderful peace. Coming down from the Father above, sweep over my spirit forever I pray in fathomless billows of love. And as I walked 13 miles on this first day, repeatedly the thought was of the peace that we have uh, with God and just that image of walking in the morning with the Lord. I thought it was rather interesting. I forgot my poles, and you kind of need those to brace yourself, at least at my age, to keep from falling, to uh, strengthen, add some strength so, that, so your legs don't have to do all the heavy lifting. And fortunately, I did find a stick there that was just about right. I think it was from a dogwood tree. Um, and it ended up being just about the right size to help me across those 20 miles. But when I was first starting, I thought, oh no, this is going to be one long trip. I've taken 10 miles before, but not 20 miles. So I was wondering how that would work. As you ascend up from 522 out of Front Royal, it's beautiful farming type country. So many beautiful things. I don't know if those were ferns or what. You pass a 4-H camp area. And you just keep working your way up the countryside there. And uh, again, just very quiet, very peaceful. The light streaming through the trees. I love that. That's something I just absolutely love when I'm out hiking a trail. And the sun streams through again. Gap is turning out to be very rocky, but very pretty. They have a certain kind of rock up here. I don't know if I'll have the energy to shoot for it. All well, these rocks have been kind of turned a little bit green. I forget what the explanation was. It's on that. It's on that picture that I posted. But anyway, liking this. This is just plain nice here. I, uh, grateful for the change of pace just uh, this here suits me just fine I love it boy if I had my grandkids they would love this this is the view from Compton Gap looking north it's the first view I've had today if you look down from the rocks here, you might be able to make out the Skyway, the Shenandoah Skyway. I'm sure I mispronounced it. I'll, I'll fix it. Okay. And again, going across the valley, you got Front Royale and working your way back along the mountains here, lower 
lower fork of the Shenandoah River over to the west and a perfect day. This is the top of Mount Marshall. It was named after Jim and Cindy Marshall. At least that's what I think. It's going to be windy, but this is going to be the view from Mount Marshall looking north and west. I will cut the video wind as soon as I hear it. I've reached the spot where the trail has become a cliff. It's going to be windy, so I'll be cutting the sound, but this is just breathtaking. Isn't this gorgeous? They said the trail would be on the edge of a cliff. It certainly is. We've seen that valley before. From other locations, I recognize that red barn, whatever that is. And interestingly enough, as you look down there, you can see the uh, you can see the road, the Shenandoah, the Shenandoah Road, and I just lost my hat.